Uh, my name is Joe Angevine. I'm the uh, manager of the landfill here at the Foothills Regional Landfill. Uh, and Resource Recovery Centre is what we call the site. Yeah, one of the biggest uh, ways that we divert waste here is the Foothill Salvage and Recycling Society. So that's a non-profit organization that we donated the land to. Uh, and then we basically help them with uh, site maintenance and things like that, uh, keeping their site running. Um, they divert tens of thousands of tons of clothing, books, games, bikes, you name it. Anything that can be reused, uh, building supplies like uh, doors and sinks and anything that can be reused, uh, we try and keep that stuff out of the landfill as best we can. As well as we have typical uh, recycling programs like wood waste, uh, shingles, uh, drywall, concrete. All the roads on our site are built out of crushed concrete uh, and then other gra gravel materials and then paved with stuff like this rasphalt material that's made from recycled shingles as well. But one of the things that's always bothered me about um, the recycling industry in general is there's, it's hard to establish a market for these, these materials. Uh, not a lot of demand for stuff like used shingles. Um, so anytime a company comes along that is making a product like a Rasvault where it creates a demand for the products that we're trying to keep out of the landfill, I'm all for trying to work with those companies or, or support that industry to help it grow to get to the point where there's consistent demand for the products that we're collecting here and and diverting from the landfills. Uh, the big one for us here is the dust controls. With those types of roads, there's constant dust. And so all the trucks, the heavy trucks, are all kicking up dust. Everyone, you can't even see half the time driving down the roads in the landfill site until we put down this rasvalt material. Uh, and then basically we have no dust, so on those roads. So for we've had some roads now for three years that uh, basically haven't had any dust issues on those roads since we put that product down. So as we've used this more and more, I've had more questions from the public about, oh, where can I get that material? And so we're gonna probably quite soon start to sell that product uh, from the site here as well. And it helps to create that kind of closed loop of the very shingles that we're collecting and taking here at the landfill are being hauled, back hauled on these projects and made into the RAS vault that we then can pave the roads here in the landfill with. Less than half of the volume of material that comes in this landfill is actually landfill. Uh, I think about two thirds of the tonnage is typically diverted, recycled, used in some other way. And that doesn't even count the salvage center, which would, would you know, increase that amount by a lot as well. So yeah, we're trying to make a site here that um, you know, manages waste responsibly and leaves the area better than we found it. That type of idea, I guess, that type of mentality of improve things, make it better, make it, uh, make it so it will last and, and benefit the region for as long as possible.